need to be uh, persistent in our protections for our freedoms and rights because we can't just uh, assume that they are set in stone always for our protections from here on out. They have to, we have to be ever vigilant to make sure that our rights and uh, privileges stay intact. Uh, one of the things that I want to say, we I get plenty of complaints uh, the, some of the late night programming on community access television, mm -hmm. and I have to basically say, and what I tell folks is that this is one of the freedom of speech things that uh, that it's tough to tolerate all perspectives all the time. There's nothing in this that constitutes tolerance, in my opinion. But that's one of the uh, tenets of freedom of speech is that even when folks tend to, can tend to abuse that right sometimes, we have to suffer the abuses in order to protect the overall right itself for everyone else, the 99% of the folks that don't feel a need to abuse, but the need to use our freedoms of speech and our freedoms that we have in this country. Well, abuse of free speech, near as I can figure what it all boils down to is, well, this is abuse of free speech because it doesn't help us to sell our real estate to yuppies. Well, let me show you what I think is real abuse of free speech. In fact, I think it's probably pretty much abuse of the taxpayers and voters. Shall we watch someone abuse free speech? Check it out. I love this shit. When did you stop beating your wife? When did you stop beating your wife? Dislike and uh, find that Ku Klux Klan distasteful. I would fight for their right to be heard. But there's stuff on there that what on earth? There's no message at all. Even a bad message. I'd rather see a bad message than what they're doing. When did you stop beating your wife? It's pure worthless garbage. It's pure worthless garbage. It's pure worthless garbage. Mm -hmm. I understand free expression. I understand content neutral, etc. Mm -hmm. But I tell you what, sometimes when I watch it and there's, there's no message, it's two drunk guys in lawn chairs in the middle of the night just cussing at each other. I'm thinking, you know, where is the mess? Where is the First Amendment need? Where is the exercise for freedom of expression here? When did you stop beating your wife? Important free expression and free speech is, but the abuse of that has a negative public backlash that we have to contend with, and that's a political reality. No, Dan. Let me give you a dose of political reality. Political reality is this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who supported you. And remember who won't support you next time you run. When did you stop beating your wife? It's pure worthless garbage. When did you stop beating your wife? Beating your wife. 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 Dan, we really appreciate you being here. And, uh, you know, I don't think people really understand how unique our station is. Uh, and what we do provide here and, you know, the freedoms we do have here to express, you know, uh, what's going on in the community, but different views. Um, and I think sometimes we forget in our community how really special that is compared to other parts of the state or even parts of the nation. So. Well, the Fayetteville is unique in a lot of areas, and this is one of them because this is, as it stated, one of the oldest, if not the oldest mm -hmm. in the area for sure, mm -hmm. one of the oldest in the country and uh, one of the most well-used uh, community access uh, stations. Uh, we need to continue to see that it functions as well mm -hmm. as possible. Mm -hmm. I know that uh, there is some programming on that the public mm -hmm. gets real upset about and they mm -hmm. want to cut funding and they want us to pull the plug and take right. it off the air. And if we get from the public that makes it hard, the, the public just, uh, I have to explain to folks how uh, we can't uh, dictate what community access, what public access does based on content. The government can't control content. Uh -huh. If the government could control content, that would be a, uh, denying one of the basic tenets that uh, we have in the First Amendment. Uh -huh. So we don't have the ability, and we just have to, uh, what I encourage folks to do in this country, especially at this time, uh -huh. is to elevate the dialogue. We have an opportunity here to use this station as a forum for the expression of ideas, for the expression of uh, debate, which can raise the bar for how we live in this country. It's pure worthless garbage. Uh -huh. it, it's, uh, I wish that, um, that there were more philosophical, intellectual debates about where we are, where we're headed, where we've been, uh -huh. 
and how we can make the world a better place to live. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, uh, we, I, I think as a culture, we've gotten to where people tend to shout at one another instead of debate, and that today is supposed to pass for some kind of uh, exchange of ideas when one person can outshout the other one. Uh -huh. And that is an enormous problem for our country because if we sink to such a level, it's pure worthless garbage. And we didn't have just two drunk guys at night just cussing at each other. It's an un un unbelievably empty conversation. Then we will, even with all the freedom of speech that we enjoy, we will sink to a point to where they don't do us any good if what we say isn't worth anything. When did you stop beating your wife? Freedom of speech means that we can express ideas and we can elevate the dialogue. When did you stop beating your wife? It's pure worthless garbage. And if we do, if we just, if, if we do the opposite of that, then we haven't lived up to uh, our obligations to uh, continue to enjoy our freedoms of speech. Mm -hmm. We have an obligation to elevate ourselves as well as we can. Mm -hmm. But the one thing that I do fear is that the the the, the, um, the dialogue that we have lost. The uh, if I disagree with you, then I've got the right to call you stupid and shout you down and turn you off. And that I think that is uh, contrary to the the meaning of our Constitution and especially our Bill of Rights uh -huh. because the Founding Fathers had an ideal that had never been tried in this world, a new model, and we owe it to them, past generations, present generations and future generations to see that those ideals aren't lost in the shouting and we have to uh -huh. elevate the dialogue. To when did you stop beating your wife, beating your wife, beating your wife, beating your wife, beating your wife? It's pure worthless garbage. It's pure worthless garbage. It's pure worthless garbage. It's pure worthless garbage. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There's real abuse. Where we can make sure that where this country goes in the future is as productive uh, as it can be and that we fulfill the promise that the Constitution and our Bill of Rights and the Founding Fathers gave to us. They mm -hmm. gave us the opportunity to succeed, the opportunity to fail. Mm -hmm. And I want mm -hmm. us to succeed. I want this country to succeed. I want Fable to succeed. Mm -hmm. And it's up to each and every one of us to make sure that happens. We can't rely on anyone other than ourselves to make sure that success is where we wind up. Thinking is difficult sometimes. It's easy. <laughs> when did you stop beating your wife? And we have to be ever vigilant to make sure that it that we maintain uh, the opportunities that they gave to us. Mm -hmm. It's up to us. One thing that uh, was a, a woman asked Franklin said, uh, a woman asked Ben Franklin one time, she says, uh, I understand we have a republic. And he says, yes, if you can keep it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's up to us. Mm -hmm. You're watching The Abbey of the Lemur. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Holly Hobby. Holly Hobby. Ah! Ah! Oh yeah, Marion Kay. Marion Kay.